Hey friends, so I'm back. Um, I'm doing my week three check-in. Um, I'm trying to stay on point, but I have some good news, you all. I have some good news. Um, let me see if I can show you first. I'm filming, it's late. Everybody's kind of gone to bed. So last week, we did a check-in and the total was 1,028. So I set goals. I thought it was here, but it may be in my everyday carry. Let me look, which I have to whip out anyway. So let's see here. You know what? I think it's, it is. It's in the March. All right. So here it is. I'm going to zoom in a little bit as much as I can for you without knocking over my camera. If you can see here in my monthly, I put put down uh -oh, that I wanted to make $1,200 a week in hair. It's right there. Guess what, y'all? I think we hit it this week. Um, I have down, my goal is to hit $500 for online, 300 in my store, which really compared to what other people do, that's nothing. So, I have everything written down. If you're new to my channel, I'm Yoshida, I'm a hairstylist, I'm self-employed. I run a Poshmark boutique. I am a pure romance consultant. I also do nails, makeup, and hair. I've been a hairstylist for 27 years, so hairstyling is my main job, where I get paid and how I pay my bills. I got basically into planning to kind of rear in my finances to see where my money was going. So, if you're new to my channel, that's a little bit about me, and I just started budgeting in February 2019 so now what I'm doing is basically trying to keep a track of my finances so that I can see where my money is going where it's coming from and where I can send it to so I am new to budgeting but I'm kind of getting the hang of it so this is my everyday carry every day what I do um, that I work I write down who I did, how much they paid me, I separate my tips. Well, I don't separate them per se, but I like to put what I'm tipped in a separate category. That way I can see how much I'm making in tips and what bill that could possibly pay. Um, this is just my daily reminder of this is what I want to make, a million dollars. This is my lovely daughter who's in college in Atlanta and she's just a little paper clip here. I also make budget stickers and regular stickers clip art stickers i make accessory bows and charms so here is my list so this week i did not um put holes in it i just snapped it in i don't know the week went by so fast y'all so i just snapped it in so all i gotta do is pull that out so you guys i was so so surprised like let's see monday I did one person. Tuesday, I did one person, but the totals are astronomical. And I'm so proud of myself because when I first started budgeting, if you follow me, you know that I was thinking I was poor. <laughs> I was spending money and basically um, not knowing how and how I was spending and where this money was going. Also, I try to do better with my spending this week and keep a track of it. Also, I wrote down when I bought supplies this week, which is something I really haven't been keeping up with, but I do have a budget of $200 for supplies for the month. So, week three, you all. So, just a rundown. We made $1,430. $145 that of, of that was tips. So this is my little cheat sheet. I'm going to set it over to the side. Let me get my calculator out. Y'all, I was so size. All I kept saying was, I mean, I was so tired. I got up at 5 o'clock Saturday morning to go to be to work by 7.30. <clears throat> and I was so tired. And I was just like, oh my God, I still had my total there for my tips. 
And I was like, oh my God, I'm so tired. But all I could think about is, oh, I can't wait to get this budget right. And that motivated me more to go. Um, well, I was going to go anyway, but you know. <laughs> so anyway, I made $145 in tips this week. So um, my cell phone bill, also if you've been following my cell phone bill, is astronomical and I'm trying to pay that down <clears throat> so I basically looked this week like I could have took my tips and basically paid um, on my cell phone bill so that's why I'm keeping track of my tips to see what it could pay possibly um, it's also close to what I pay in a car note as far as half of the month so all I earned this week was from hair I didn't sell anything on posh I didn't do any nails I didn't do any makeup um, I didn't sell anything from my online store this week I didn't sell anything on eBay I'm a hustler, okay? So, I will sit, I will make dinners, okay? <laughs> this is how hard I hustle. But anyway, um, so, I estimated $720, and I think I was just being modest, but um, I actually made $1,430. And I also explained, I think in my last video, that, um, stick, roll with me now, because I think when I start to make more money, I may not be putting it online, but I just want to, you know be as transparent as I can why I can uh, let's see so basically what was our plus and minus so I guess they made it 720 what we made 1430 subtract 720 710 dollars you guys now let me tell you something else I'm trying to do I want to get to the point where I'm paying myself on Saturday and that money lasts me through the week and then whatever like give myself a salary on Saturday everything else maybe go to bills let's say on Saturday I pay myself $200 <clears throat> for the week and then everything else goes to bills and savings and that's basically my allowance or what have you or to pay bills with you know what I'm saying so that's what I want to kind of get to so here, this is what I made for the week, and that was just my one income, nothing else. So we had a plus and minus of seven hundred and ten, um, a plus of seven hundred and ten dollars. So I like to do the plus and minus. Let me zoom in a little bit. I like to do the plus and minus because, again, it lets me know basically um, where I'm at and what I could be you know putting aside and basically I look back and say where is it <laughs> where did I spend it on oh also this week I finally paid I'm gonna go back we're gonna go back into that so um, that's what I made so the total this week was 14.30 you guys I don't think I've made this in probably years in a week I am super Super excited so I'm gonna just bring that down you all I just could not believe it Saturday when I added up and the loan I made $600 on Saturday um, God is in the blessing business in the restoration business okay so I'm going back over here so my second car note let's flip into the monthly so this was Saturday the 16th so let's put down Hold on, I just had some budget stickers. Hold on. Okay, let's see. I found my no skin stickers and some bill due. Oh, I paid on my credit card. And I think I got another one. This is my April, part of my April kit, but I'm just gonna take it out anyway. So. Out my booth rent due stickers. I've got to dig in my um, I've got to dig through my um, silhouette files and find these booth rent stickers because I really like them because I hate I'm, I ain't gonna say I hate but I really don't like care for my right and I just put the 23 since I covered it up Matter of fact, I can actually pull that up. Well, I lot of wrote on it now, so whatever. So I'm glad to have my booth rent do stickers back. Um, we got some some of these. So this Saturday, I think I'm gonna cut this in half. So well, it's all right. So on the 16th, we made what was the total? Here it is. 
$1,430. Again, I want to get to the point where I can just pay myself on Saturday to last me to the next week. Um, I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. Okay, so here, one of my goals here was to catch up on my sale bill and pay an extra car note. That's going to be part of a baby step, the extra car note. So, what was due this week? <clears throat> Thursday, I have... I can take off, check off the ADT and the water bill. That would have been late on the, let me zoom out just a little bit. It'd have been late on like the 24th because it actually I think was due the beginning of the month or last month. So I paid that on Thursday. So let me put some bill due stickers down. Oh, was it Friday? No, Friday. Friday I paid, it was 2.45 in total. I can't, I know one of them was, and what I did was I just cashed out the money to my husband. Um, I'm just going to put water bill and the ADT bill. I think the AT, ADT bill was like 130 something. What I said, 245 and then 115. So I paid those on Thursday. I paid my booth rent, which was 210. Oh, and I paid Aflac. So I paid Aflac. Let me check them off. And I paid $30 to Aflac. So a lot came out on Friday this week. And what else did I pay? Oh, and I didn't pay... Looking for my eraser. I didn't give Victoria's Secrets 80. I gave. I ended up giving them, I think, 50 I gave them 50 so I'm looking at another credit card sticker because this week I want to give them I gotta figure out what day I can give it to them because car note I don't play around like my car note basically is sitting in my account now even though I'll have some work by then but I don't play about that car note let me explain something to you I don't play about that car note anymore so I'm gonna stick this here another because I need to catch that up because um it wasn't a big balance hold on you all let me put this in so I'm gonna send them another 50 or either pay off the balance it wasn't that, that much oh I bought products too I bought those on Thursday so I'm gonna put this order products down oh, it's crooked I spent a hundred and eleven dollars really more than that I had bought something for twenty dollars and then I spent a hundred eleven it was at 131 21 131 so I spent hundred and thirty one dollars in products on Thursday so at least I got a lot of things done I should have been able to take care of that cell phone bill but for those who are not self-employed and don't understand how it goes when you get paid every day and a lot of people say, oh, if I got paid every day, man, I would have so much money. No, you wouldn't. Because <laughs> you would think, you would think about, oh, I need toilet paper. Oh, um, the baby needs some pampers. Or, oh, I need to get some soap. Oh, dang. I'm, you know what? I'm going to lunch today. I'm going to treat myself to lunch today. So, no. Unless you, well, if you're disciplined, possibly so. I'm not, I'm trying to discipline myself. So, but when you're broken down to like, oh, you made $50 on Monday. Oh, $155 on Tuesday. Oh, $60 on Wednesday. So when you get small amounts like that, the 50 and the 60, I'll say, you'll be like, oh, gotta get some gas. So next thing you know, you done broke a 20, and then there you are left with $20 or $10, and you're like, wait a minute, I know I had more money, so it doesn't really add up. But when you have days like a Saturday, like I did with the 600, and then it's there all at once, then you see your money. Then you're like, okay. Then you're more scared to spend it. But when you get small amounts, you're spending little bits and little bits at a time. So like on a day like Friday, Friday, that's when I paid the water bill and the ADT bill because it was a lump sum. You know what I'm saying? But if it had been just like the 150, I'm like, okay, I'm going to put a little bit aside. I'm going to let that add up with something else. So I'm just trying to break it down for you all for us um, self-employed people. So anywho, back on track. So then on Tuesday, I have to give my husband $100 for a personal loan that we have. Um, then I have a car note due on Wednesday. 
the 20th and then I have my cell phone bill which it is due I got a notice it's due and that is two it's 260 something I think I know y'all like why is your bill so high and the sad thing is I have an Apple watch and I don't even wear it I'm paying for a watch and I don't even wear it. I need to start back wearing my watch so so far I don't need any more products probably for the rest of the month because I stocked up like on color something I, I really shouldn't have got the color because um, I have color and my clients kind of stick to the same thing but I have a client who likes different things and I'm trying to prepare for her when she does come so I need her to come like next week but anyway um, I want to do a no spin day so I have a little no spin here and the no spin day needs to be on a bill day I think I'm gonna make it on Thursday and I like when I fill up my calendar and I stick to it and guess what I'm so excited my daughter is gonna start budgeting I'm so excited for her so she just ordered her first Erin Condren so yeah so that's how the week went oh and plus that's another thing I send my daughter money so she's getting a roughly over a hundred dollars from me a week so that's God so let's um I, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put down my goal in this calendar so when i open it it's here as well twelve hundred dollars a week here i know what that means that means i'm gonna make from here so y'all i exceeded my goal so that's really pretty much it so i did get some bills paid still ain't chomped at that um cell phone bill but I'm gonna put some chomping to it this week um, let's start for next week so next week I have down 720 again estimated I think I need to move that up I'm gonna move it to 820 y'all I don't lost all my white out I don't know it's around here in this room somewhere um, so yeah so we're gonna move next week up to 820 so let's just sit, put that out there in the universe that hopefully we make more than that so so far this month I've made, I'm adding 600 plus seven, no, six, no, 615, let me start over. 615, because I'm going with actual plus 028 plus 1430. I've made $3,073 and there is still two more weeks left this week and next week yeah so the last month which was February I did about 3,500 so I think I'm going to exceed my goal again so I like to keep doing this so that I can see basically a margin of what I'm making each month um, so it roughly in the beginning I think I guesstimated at like 3,200 I'm not for sure but I ended up making like 35 something for the month. Um, I think my issue was a brain blockage that I was having. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, if not, you should be. It's Norris Cove, just like it is here. And if you follow my Instagram, or if you're going to follow, just scroll on down and you'll see what I had posted before I started doing stickers. I just took a regular notebook and would write down in what I made every week, what needed to be paid. So I've been doing pencil and paper, basically planning for some time, but just not in this form. And when I was a single mom and then right before I got married, I was like paying, you know, all my bills by myself. So I had to have some form of a budget and I was making $2,500 a week. And I lost a lot of clients. Um, I'll get into that story, maybe story time one day. Um, I'll do a story time. If you'd like to know how I lost the clients, I'll be happy to tell you. <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't all me, but I do take some of the blame. But anyway, um, so I was making $2,500 a week. So my mind, I think, was stuck on making the $2,500, you know, every week. And I felt like, oh, God, that's, that was a whole lot of money. And that was about 10 years ago, maybe. And I never really recovered from that mentally, I will say. I never really, I, now that I think about it, in retrospect, I never really recovered from that. And so um, now I feel like budgeting and planning is, is like therapy for me. Uh, wait a minute, y'all. I always say I'm not straight okay it's almost like therapy for me so I'm recovering from the loss and I think things are starting to 
come together and get the ball back rolling because my mindset has changed, my attitude has changed about it because um, it was almost like someone had snatched the rug off from under me and it put me in a very sunken place. And I think I stayed there for a while and I'd come out from time to time. It's like crawling out of a hole and then you just fall back in. So um, I found planning and I'm slowly crawling back out again. And this time I think I'm gonna be out for good. <laughs> so I'm just trying to get my life together and I'm just glad that you all are coming along with me for the ride. So let's just hope next week is up again. You know, I'm still not making any money basically online, but it's okay. Um, the whole point of this was to see where my hair money was going and what I could have been spending it on. And did I buy any? Oh, I did this week. Well, actually today, I bought some stuff to make some, um, some downloads to make some stickers for my May and June. So I want to get that on the ball, but that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for coming along with this ride with me as I get this budget together. And I will see you all next week with week four check-in. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.